Today, I'm gonna to go over five of the most common questions clients have when moving to Alhambra, California. I'm gonna go over what's special about its location, cost of housing, how are the schools and how are the neighbors here, and a few other things that they've told me after they've moved here so that you'll know exactly what to expect when you make your move here. What's up everyone, Kevin Kuo here, local realtor in Pasadena, California. Welcome to my channel where I talk about home ownership in the greater Pasadena area in Southern California. And if you're looking to buy or sell in Alhambra or the greater Pasadena area, leave me a message and my partners and I would love to help you achieve your real estate goals. First, let's talk about what's so good about Alhambra's location. Alhambra is located about eight miles east of downtown LA. It's south from where I live in Pasadena and just north of the 10 freeway and is where the 710 freeway ends. Within two hours, you can drive to just about everywhere Southern California is known for. If you take the 10 going west, you can go to downtown LA, Culver City, Santa Monica area. If you go east, you can go to Ontario, Rancho, Palm Springs area. If you take the 710 going south, you can go all the way down to Long Beach and you connect to other freeways going to Disneyland and Orange County. A thing to be aware of is that your travel time really depends not just on freeway traffic but local street traffic as well. Depending on where you live, it can take you 10 to 15 minutes during certain times of the day just to get onto the freeway. A major reason is because the 710 freeway, which currently ends at the southwest corner of the city, was supposed to connect to the 210 freeway, but was never finished because of community opposition. Because of this, you get traffic from the 710 freeway flow into Alhambra and slow down major roads during rush hour. This problem isn't going to go away anytime soon, but it's not a big deal once you get to know the local traffic schedule and plan your driving time around them. Check Google Maps for traffic predictions and plan your, your drive time so you don't need to spend a big portion of your drive stuck in traffic. Number two, what's there to do here? Alhambra is full of community shopping centers, amenities, and local things to do throughout the year. Main Street is generally where people think of as the heart of the city, but the city has multiple commercial streets full of restaurants and retail shopping centers for the whole family. There's a Edwards IMAX theater, there's Costco, there's Target, Sprout Supermarket, Asian supermarkets like 99 Ranch Supermarket, lots of bars and trendy restaurants. You can enjoy open lake views and exercise, play basketball at Almanzer Park, I enjoy picnics and barbecue at Alhambra Park, great golf and driving range at the Alhambra Golf Course, not to mention all the weekly and annual events that happen here, like the Farmer's Market on Sundays, the July 4th fireworks show at Almanzer Park, and the annual 5K pumpkin run in October. You can really tell how much the community appreciates these events by looking at the turnout. Just like how I'll really appreciate it if you can hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm to help share this video. Number three, a big question I get is how affordable is housing here? And I'm glad to tell you that Alhambra is both competitive in rent and home prices. Currently in Alhambra, the median rent price is about $1,700 a month for a one bedroom and $2,000 a month for a two bedroom condo. In Pasadena where I live, rent is about $1,800 a month for a one one bedroom and 2500 a month for a two bedroom condo here. Median home sale price here last month was around 775000 also the least expensive when compared to median home sale prices in neighboring cities. Another thing to be aware of is that there are many newer apartments and condominium complexes throughout the city. But if you want to live in a single family house, most of Alhambra's single family buildings are pretty old. 90% of the single family homes here were built before 1950, and most of the remaining 10% were built before the year 2000. Now, buying an older home isn't a big deal. Just make sure that you perform thorough inspections during your home inspection period for major items like roof, foundation, plumbing, and sewer line, so you know that your home won't have unforeseen major issues. You can always make upgrades to your home later down the line. Number four, is it safe here and how are the schools? Crime rate in Alhambra is about 19% lower than the California average. This is pretty normal for cities in this area. Elementary schools and middle schools mostly with scores about 7 on greaterschools.org. Currently, Alhambra High School ranked number 1454 nationally. It's okay, but it's not that impressive. However, if you live within the Alhambra school district boundaries, you can try to petition to get your kids into an even higher ranked school within its district, like San Gabriel High School ranked 1016 nationally 
and Marquepo High School ranked number 513 nationally. These are very impressive schools because normally schools ranked within the top 1,000 in the nation are usually in more expensive cities. High schools ranked within the top 1,000 in neighboring cities like San Marino, Arcadia, South Pasadena all have median home prices far above $1 million. Number five, what kind of people live here? A lot of clients like Alhambra because it's a melting pot of different cultures. Different Asian nationalities make up 51% of the population here and different Latino and Hispanic nationalities make up 36%. The most spoken languages here are English, Chinese, Spanish, and Vietnamese. You can tell how diverse Alhambra is just by looking at the different types of restaurants on major streets like Main Street and Valley Boulevard. There is food here from around the world from Korean barbecue to American burgers, Vietnamese, Singaporean food, the list goes on and on. My personal favorites include pastrami sandwiches from The Hat, dim sum at Lunasia Chinese cuisine, and fish tacos from Baja Cali fish tacos. Overall, you can't go wrong choosing Alhambra. It's a multicultural town near downtown LA with great freeway access, competitive housing prices, solid schools, and tons of community amenities. Hope this gives you a better idea what to expect moving to Alhambra, California. Subscribe to my channel to get updates on new videos about living in this area. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the description down below.